Today, we released our 2023 full year results, which show the impact of tougher PGM prices on the company. I'll also briefly touch on some of the initiatives we'll be implementing in the near term to ensure the company continues to remain safe, sustainable, and more competitive into the future. I'm proud of the safety improvements we all achieved last year. There have been no work-related fatalities at our operations for over two consecutive years, which is our longest fatality-free period to date. And we also reached a record low total recordable case frequency rate of 1.61 per million hours worked. Our relentless focus must be to continue to eliminate hazards that cause fatalities and achieving zero harm across our operations. It's also worth noting that our Mahalakwena, Mototolo and Unki mines have each reported more than 11 fatality-free years, with Amandabult recording 9.6 million fatality-free shifts. In terms of shared value, we made a significant contribution of 85 billion rand to broader society, highlighting the work we're doing to distribute value to all stakeholders, including 5 billion rand paid to government in taxes and royalties, 16 billion rand paid to employees in salaries and wages, local procurement of 30 billion rand going to other businesses, and social investment and community development spend of 700 million rand. Capital reinvested in the business was 21 billion rand and dividends paid to shareholders of 12 billion rand. These dividends are paid to all shareholders, principally made up of tens of millions of working and retired workers through their pension funds, as well as our employees via TORBOR, our employee ownership scheme, as well as a number of community development trusts via Alchemy, our community ownership scheme. We have developed a roadmap to carbon neutrality and we've taken steps towards implementing carbon reduction projects to meet our 2030 and 2040 targets. We are in an advanced stage of commercial negotiation to conclude an energy offtake agreement with Invusa Energy to secure clean energy in our journey towards decarbonisation of our operations. Invusa will supply approximately 460 megawatts of renewable energy from 2026 and at a steady state the energy offtake arrangement will result in approximately 35% of renewable energy being made available. Demonstrating our leading position as a responsible miner and leader in ESG, I'm proud to report that we've received our latest ratings for the Initiative for Responsible Mining Assurance, IRMA. Our Amandabult operation achieved IRMA 50 rating, while Mototolo achieved IRMA 75. We've also retained the UNKI IRMA 75 rating after a surveillance audit, reconfirming our commitment to being a responsible miner. Now moving on to the review of our operational performance. In 2023, our PGM metal in concentrate production decreased by 5% compared to 2022. Strong performances from Unki and Mototolo operations were offset by planned infrastructure closures at Amandabult, poor ground conditions at Deshaba, and the expected lower grade at Mahalakwena. This brought our total metal in concentrate production to 3.8 million ounces for the year. Mahalakwena's production was down 5% due to expected lower grades, resulting from mining extraction sequence changes. The combined breakdowns of the Baobab plant, as well as the high pressure grinding rolls, or HPGR breakdown, at the North Concentrator resulted in fewer tons milled for the period. The stability challenges have been corrected and the HPGR is now running at full capacity. Amandable's production decreased by 11%, mainly due to infrastructure closures and the poor ground conditions at Deshaba. Despite these operational challenges, there were some noteworthy developments, such as the improvement in the performance of the shovel fleet at Mahalakwena, which led to an overall improvement in loading and hauling for better drilling outcomes. 
Unki saw a 14% year-on-year improvement in the concentrated throughput following the de-bottlenecking project and Motutolo saw an improved concentrator throughput by 50% versus the prior year as a result of its de-bottlenecking interventions. We completed the disposal of our 50% interest in Kroondal in November, resulting in Kroondal transitioning to a third-party processing arrangement. Year-on-year, -year, refined production was 1% lower, primarily due to the lower methane concentrate production and the impact of Eskom load curtailment which amounted to around 82,000 PGM ounces. Our 2023 EBITDA was 24 billion Rand, driven by marginally lower production, higher costs, and a 35% decrease in the PGM dollar basket price, offset by a 2% increase in sales volumes. As was the case in 2022, our profitability continues to be impacted by above inflation cost increases in utilities consumables and the volatility in the czar exchange rate. Lower PGM prices also impacted the value of the purchase of concentrate inventory resulting in increased cost of sales. Headline earnings for the year were 14 billion rand, 71% lower than 2022 and we ended the year in a net cash position of 15.4 billion rand with a liquidity headroom of almost 40 billion rand. From this base, and in line with our capital allocation framework, we have provided cash returns to shareholders over the last year of 5.6 billion Rand or 21 Rand 30 per share. This represents a total payout ratio of 40% of headline earnings. So looking ahead, we expect metalline concentrate and refined production to be between 3.3 and 3.7 million PGM ounces, while unit costs are forecast to be between 16 and a half and 17 and a half thousand rand per PGM ounce. Total capital expenditure is anticipated to be between 19 and 19 and a half billion rand. And we're also targeting an all in sustaining cost of below $1,050 per 3E ounce in 2024. So going forward, we continue to develop a diverse range of existing and new opportunity areas for our metals. As we set out in December's update, in response to external pressure due to the low PGM basket price, we've embarked on an action plan for cost reduction measures targeting 5 billion Rand in operating costs and a further 5 billion Rand saving in capital expenditure by focusing on critical work to ensure the integrity and reliability of our assets. The action plan includes various measures aimed at ensuring the delivery of an enhanced cost position, improved near-term cash flows and value-focused capital allocation, protecting the company's balance sheet while preserving long-term optionality from our world-class mineral endowment. In light of this, and despite the extensive measures we've already taken to address our costs, it's clear that further restructuring is required to ensure the sustainability of our business for the long term. As a consequence, we announced today that Anglo-American Platinum has commenced restructuring that has the potential to impact approximately 3,700 employees across our operations in Southern Africa. In addition, contracts with 620 of our service providers are in scope for review. Therefore, consultation processes in terms of Section 189A of the Labour Relations Act will commence with Labour and affected non-unionised employees through their representatives. The Section 189A process involves a 60-day consultation period with trade unions and affected employees facilitated by the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration. And only when concluded will the final number of impacted jobs be known. This decision to commence the restructuring process has not been taken lightly and is very much the last resort, not least as we recognize the unemployment challenges in the country and the socio-economic impacts that the proposed restructuring may have on our people and on our communities. We are putting in place wide-range mitigation plans, 
that will continue to deliver specific social impact programs aligned with our social and labour plans, in addition to broader programs focused on education, health, job creation and enterprise development amongst others. Anglo-American Platinum has long played and continues to play a vital part in the development of South Africa's mining industry, both as a major investor for the long term and a very significant contributor to the national fiscus, employment and local communities on many fronts. While we are faced with making a number of tough decisions, these are with the aim of ensuring that we are a sustainable, competitive and viable business that is set up to be able to continue in the same vein for generations to come. We will approach this process in line with our values and cultural commitments, respecting the impact that this will have on our people. In closing, I'd like to thank all employees for their contributions and for working safely in 2023. I realize today's announcement will cause angst and we undertake to keep you updated throughout the consultation process. Anglo-American Platinum will emerge from this restructure a safer, more competitive and sustainable business. The metals that we mine are essential components in today's rapidly growing green energy technologies. It's therefore critical for us to set the business up to embrace this future.